Hello guys, welcome to my channel Lautola. In this video, I want to explain about label statement. Okay, normally guys, I hope you know continuum break statement. We will use this label statement with the combination of continuum break. Okay, break is for terminating a loop and continue is for skipping a iteration in a loop. Okay, first I will show you how break statement works. Then I will combine. The break statement with the cap label statement, and I will execute the program. Okay. First of all, if you observe this program, the output will be one, two, three. If I return a condition like if i equal to three break, what will be happen means this loop will be terminated when i equal to three. So the output will be one, two. You can observe it, guys. I think so. Now you guys got some uh, clear idea about this break statement, right? Now I will start explaining you about this label statement. Okay. Yep. First, I will um what I want to do means assume like guys assume like I went to some interview. Okay. And let's assume like. Interview have interviewer given me this code, okay? And what he have done means, wait, guys, just let me format it. Yep. First, he have executed this this program and shown me this output, okay? And he have some expectations, okay? Now I will explain the question, then I will show you the implementation with the label statement. Interviewer given this output, okay? With this code. Here, what they have done, they are using two for loop, like nested for loop, the outer one and inner one. With this combination, they are printing system like A, okay, and the output will be like this, okay. And the interviewer expectation is he want two columns of A's, okay, and he want to skip these two, okay, and he have some conditions, guys. Don't change value of I or J, okay, not it is. And not and this is all. Don't change value of i or j. He said this condition because if I if here I change the value of i, I will get the expected output. But he don't want that. Okay. And he also have another condition. Don't use break statement in outer for loop. This is outer for loop and this is inner for loop. Here I can do another thing, guys, for getting this expected output also. If I equal to two break, okay, I equal to three break. Again, I am getting the expected output, but as the interview say, interviewer said, you have two conditions: don't change i or j values, don't use break statement in outer for loop. Then I have only one condition guys then i have only one uh, one chance that is i have to terminate outer for loop from my inner for loop means from here i want to terminate by outer for loop normally we know like the for loops will be terminated if you mention the break statement inside them but we can also terminate the outer for loop from the inner for loop by using this label statement okay now i want to name it my outer for loop as outer okay here i want to write a condition if i equal to 3 break outer now let's rerun this code guys if you observe guys i have satisfied these two conditions the condition satisfied are don't change values of i or j and don't use break statement in outer for loop okay and if you observe guys, that is the power of label statement. We can terminate outer for loop from inner loop only. Okay. And another thing guys, we can name it as anything like I am naming it as QWE and QWE and I am re-executing the program. I will get the same output. But remember one thing, readability is the most priority one guys. Okay. Here just I was giving some demo like classes too. So that is the reason I am not. Uh, following any readability, but when you are writing it in the real time, you have to give, follow the readability, guys. Okay, 
and if you have any queries also please comment it in comment section and if you want any classes on like any videos on any other topics in java you can also comment i will make videos on them and i will post them on youtube okay thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe my channel